The first step of the installation is to configure the IP addresses for the server. To do this, go to Menu, Control Panel, Networking Configuration, and then click on the Start button. Or go to Menu, System, Networking Configuration. In either case, you will be presented a window asking for the root password. See your system administrator for this password. When you have been given the root password, type it in and select Enter or use the OK button. An Ethernet networking configuration window will appear. The window will ask you for your system's host name. Typically, this is used to differentiate a server in an auditorium. In this example, we will key in Screen 1. Press the Enter key. Next, you'll be asked to key in your system's domain name. This will be dependent on your specific networking setup. In this example, we will simply use the default name of dc.dramylabs.com. Press the Enter key. Next, you'll be asked if you want to configure Ethernet 0. This will be dependent on how you are configuring your ports and if you are using both ports. In this example, we will configure Ethernet 0 to connect to our projector, so enter Yes. You will then be prompted to select if this is a removable device. In this example, we will select No as the port is fixed onto the motherboard. Next, you will be prompted with a window asking if you want to automatically configure device as DHCP. Since in this example, there is no router present and we are using a switch, we will need to do the IP address manually and we will select No. Press the Enter key. Then we need to input the device's IP address. In this example, we will key in 10.10.1.15. Press the Enter key. You will then be prompted with a window asking to key in the IP address of the device's gateway router. And in this example, we are not using a router, so we will leave this blank. Press the Enter key. Next, you'll be presented a window requesting that you input the device's subnet mask. It is important that the subnet mask from the projector and the Doremi server match. Press the Enter key. Next, you'll be presented a window asking to configure Ethernet 1. Depending on your network, you may not need to configure this one. In this example, we are going to use Ethernet 1 as our media network, so we will select the Yes option. The next window will ask if it is a removable device. Select No because this is fixed to the motherboard. You will then be presented a window asking if you want to automatically configure the device with DHCP. In this example, we will select No so that we can manually address it. It is important to note that Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 should be on a different subnet. In this example, we will key in the IP address of 192.168.100.15. Press the Enter key. The next window will ask for the IP address of the device's gateway router. Again, in this example, there is no router present, so we will leave it blank. Press the Enter key. Next, you'll be presented a window requesting that you input the device's subnet mask. In this example, we will key in 255.255.255. .255 0. Press the Enter key. Next, you'll be presented with a window asking for the IP address of your system's domain name servers. If you do have a DNS or domain name servers applicable, then you will want to type in the IP address for it. In this example, we do not, so we will leave it blank. Press the Enter key. Next, the server will configure all the IP addresses you keyed in. To confirm that the IP address did register properly, you will want to go to Menu, Dermy Labs, Diagnostic Tools. You can then verify the IP address for Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 in the respective fields. To close out the window, click on the Quit button on the lower right hand side of the window. That concludes our demonstration. Should you need any additional assistance, please contact our local technical support team. Thank you for watching.